So if I understand you correctly, when you, you're you lower on this side than you are on this side, such that it goes at an angle like this. So what I do when I'm trying to level this, right, first thing I'll do is I'll try and level the bed. I, I'm using the, the uh, silicone bed mod, but I'll use these blocks here, um, one, two, three blocks or angles or whatever, and I will disconnect the key back, right? So just basically unscrew, I'll take that off and I'll unscrew it from that because that applies an uneven pressure on this. I will then put the key blocks or key blocks or the one, two, three blocks underneath the linear rail. I'll also unscrew these guys here. So there's two screws there, two screws there. And because they're kind of also holding at an angle, so I'll unscrew them completely. I'll untension these guys completely on both sides. Untension them. Put the put the blocks underneath. And now the whole axis is the x-axis is kind of wobbly, so it'll just sit in place. So I'll do that. And then I get it nice and everything sitting on this uh, on the on the blocks in place here. I will then tighten the most outside one on one side, the most outside screw on the other side, and then inside, inside. So now that the, the plastic parts are secured to the linear rail, I'm sorry, the uh, x-axis, then what I'll do is I will, let me see this thing. Um, I'm using Yenda's um, things because it holds this against the extrusion. It's the extra little thing right there. I'll make sure these guys are loose. I'll then put the screw in and I'll do like a half turn on this side and a half turn on this side. The Yenda's um, mod is really good because it prevents the motor from, from coming backward. So you can still have it close and get tension on it. So I'll do a half turn, half turn, back and forth on the half turns. Every now and then when you do it, um, the tension system is not that great. So you're gonna have to like pull up on the motor a little bit just to engage the tension. So then I measure, I measure up here actually. Um, I know it's 150 millimeters from here down, right? I've never had luck with that, but I measure up here. And on the PF, ten, PF, sense, PF makes tension tool, I will measure both of these belts at a 2, 2.0. It's a longer stretch, which means my belt is slightly looser. Um, but that's where I will, I will measure it. I think it's, this, is, this is probably about 250 millimeters. It's 100 millimeters longer, this section here. But I found that a 2.0 here gives me a really good tension, really good performance. Um, let me see. These are some of the things I was able to get out of it. I don't know if you can see, but I've gotten most of the residents out of these prints. So that's how I do it. Um, because the problem you run into with, with tension in this thing, and if you were to hold it at 150, is that this key back thing actually applies force. So it's gonna push, pull up the side. And you, so you're constantly fighting that. So I leave it all down on these guys here, on, on these uh, one, two, three blocks, leave it all down underneath the linear rail, right? Not underneath the axis, but the linear rail. And as I tension it down here, I measure up here. That, that seems to work for me because I just, I, I couldn't get it, the tension right with the proper way. So that's how I do it.